What opportunities and challenges exist for evaluating EL? Experiential learning involves a wide range of stakeholders who are involved in planning, delivering, and facilitating opportunities. To ensure that different perspectives are gathered, an EL quality review should include representative feedback from all groups of people who are involved in the process, including faculty, staff, administrators, students, and external partners. While there may already be some formal approaches or tools that can be used to evaluate EL at the course, program, institutional, or professional level, there may be some unique challenges and opportunities that are associated with EL that should also be considered. Understanding those challenges and opportunities and finding ways to both overcome and capitalize on them will help you to ensure that your quality review is as useful and thorough as possible and that it captures the perspectives of a range of stakeholders. Given that I'm doing quality improvement with the students, it's just very much inherent in all of the work that I do. So I get feedback from the students every week. I ask them, how are things going? You know, is there anything we need to cover? Uh, I actually sometimes change course content for the following week based on what's happened in the class. Uh, I've asked them, you know, do we want to do, do you want me to do more of a lecture? Or do you, would you prefer to do a reading and have a discussion next week? So I really kind of evolve it at, over time and improve it at a, on a kind of weekly basis, but at a bigger structural level, I'll engage with my community partners and uh, over informal conversations, sometimes take them out for a coffee or go for lunch and pay for it just to say, hey, how are things working? What do I need to change? What do I need to make better on my end so that it works better for you in the community? And I think those real kind of informal relationship building pieces give me that feedback of how do I need to, how I need to and should improve the course here. Uh, course evaluations are, are important, uh, but my students end up by, at the end of their third year, are pretty open with me and telling me what, what they like and what maybe could be improved. And I think that relationship helps to, to build the course and make it better. It's something that we take uh, great pride in and is definitely one of our top priorities, not only the service we provide to our students, but also the way that, as we've said before, the many moving parts uh, each require their own bit of attention. And um, it's, it's relationship building on a lot of fronts and it's, it's always being able to look back at the process and at least this is the way that we approach it. Can anything be improved? Can this, from top to bottom, is there something that we could be doing better more efficiently with better attention paid to students, faculty, community, so that the end product for everyone is ultimately better. And that takes time. It's easy to just kind of look at things and be like, ah, it worked, just keep it the way it is. Um, but I think one thing that we really do pay a lot of attention to, at least with our team, is those constant improvements. And it's usually with relationships in mind of, is this in the best interest of everybody involved? Do you have a formal feedback process for that? Or? We do, yeah. We have, uh, I mean, it's a simple uh, survey that goes out to all parties. So students, faculty, staff, or not staff, students, faculty, community partners at the end of a project. And they're, they're distinct in their, the way they're developed. So there's certain questions that only apply to each group, uh, but there's commonalities throughout uh, each one of those surveys. And it allows us to then take those and, uh, and look at them and then see, okay, well, was, did something go wrong here? Was there an extenuating circumstance? Uh, or is there a theme that, yeah, we really should address this and maybe improve it going forward? So the curriculum can change based on several things. Um, definitely student feedback. We get them to do um, every term. Um, we have two student representatives that without any uh, professor or teacher being present, they do do feedback for every course that we um, teach them. We want to hear what their um, and we compile all the results and from year to year and if something um, isn't working and we can always tell also what isn't working from test results um, and simulations, we can tweak it by that. We also have PAC meetings where we have uh, professional members of um, our community from either retail or hospital. We meet a few times every year. We get feedback from them. We get feedback from our placement providers. They. Um, they have to fill out a, a questionnaire. They have the student for a month and there's several competencies that they have to mark off and how our students are doing. We get really great suggestions and feedback from them. Um, every year it could be different. Sometimes they find maybe the students are not as strong knowing their generic and trade name drugs. If we find more uh, placements, 
if it seems to be a recurring theme, then we'll look at that. Also, um, there are changes all the time to regulations in our profession. Um, our standards of practice change. We have meetings with um, professional the pharmacy technician, there's a professional association that meets once a year. This year will be in Calgary. So all the coordinators of the pharmacy programs from colleges across Canada all get together. They collaborate. They discuss what's new, what changes to be made, um, any regulations or laws that have been updated, and also our scope of practice, which is always changing. The pharmacist's role is expanding, and as the pharmacist's role expands, the pharmacy technician expands. So we have to incorporate that into the program. Ethics, the code of ethics gets changed, so we have to update that also. So we kind of roll with not just feedback from placement and the students, but also what's happening in the profession.